Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and welcome to the Rumble, the Royal Rumble, yes it's the Caird Royal Rumble, the most interesting of the Royal Rumbles to say the least. Uh, we have four players, it is the Big Dog, Morning. the Situation, the Baron, and the Edge Marquee. Hello. Yes, these four will be competing to get a chance at taking on the WKC Champion myself as a Grand Cat. <laughs> Then the main event of Caird Mania 2. And they're all fighting for something. The situation, he was in the main event of Caird Mania 1 and lost to the Grand Cat. So he's really fighting, trying to make his way back up the ladder. The Big Dog is the current king of the Cairds. Hey, and nice. he could very well try and unify both the king of the Cairds and the WKC Championship if he manages to win, and he will also have to defend the King of the Cards as well as take on the WKC champion if he does indeed win. The Baron is, of course, one half of the tag team champions with myself, the Grand Cat. So it could be the tag team champions facing off against each other in the main event of Card Mania, or it could be the Edge Marquee himself, who was the only person to defeat the Grand Cat for the WKC championship. You're welcome. <laughs> and I have not forgotten. <laughs> so, which one will be finishing the story? Each of these competitors have two characters. The first character will be coming in, and if when their second character is called they are still in the ring, then it moves on to the next character. So, the only way to be eliminated is if you are thrown over the top rope and all four delicious feet touch the ground... And everyone clicked off. <laughs> Wait, that only affects me though. Well, <laughs> I'm only one you, four you, feet. They only have two. <laughs> they just can't lose them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you you need all eight of your feet from both of your characters to touch the ground to be eliminated. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't don't you worry, big dog. <laughs> so we are going to start the contest. Of course, this will be uh, played with Street Fighter miniature rules. Um, if you are knocked over the top rope or if you are thrown over the top rope then the way that it works now is you will roll a 20 sided dice and whatever number that lands on will determine how much damage you take if your life reaches zero when you have been knocked over the top rope or thrown over the top rope then you will be eliminated mm -hmm. indeed very very scary so we are now going to begin with entrance number one and two so Entrance number one is the edge marking. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is myself. Fun, fun. And making his way down to the ring, it is Behold. Big Giant Kaido himself. <laughs> what the? More so, than one Kaido. Hey, Texas. Boys. <laughs> Kaido is not your regular competitor, he is a boss character. That <laughs> means what? he has 40 life oh, no. and he takes up four squares instead of the usual one. And in order for him to be eliminated, it is the boss Akuma. In order for him to be eliminated, he has to be entirely thrown over the top rope, not just one foot. That means all four of his squares have to be over the top rope to be eliminated, which means he is going to be very, very difficult. And he does have his own boss deck as well that is going to give him additional things. So the idea of the boss character is... Of course, in Royal Rumbles, not everyone is equal. You get giants such as Big Show and Andre the Giant. And this is the, per the type that I would recommend that other players try and gang up against to try and throw over the top rope. Otherwise, you're going to be in a bit of a difficult decision taking that on one on one. It was second good luck for the fucking <laughs> two pounds with that. <laughs> and the second no person entering the rumble, making his way down to the ring, is the Baron, who is <laughs> big old Borsalino himself. Huh. And the turn order, if we can get the markers. Uh, that would help. Um, the edge marquee is going to be number one. And the Baron is going to be number two. Now the way that this works is once everyone has had two full turns, then the next competitor will make their way down to the ring. But before we begin, Edge Marquis, you need to flip over the top card of your boss deck and see what you have. 
helping you out in this turn. So the boss challenge for this turn is when this card is in play, the boss deals one unblockable damage to a character each time that character rolls a fist or double fist while blocking. Huh. This is completely new to me. <laughs> I never read these rules. <laughs> Should I have? Um, so, uh, Edge Marquis, you enter the ring first. You are going to be on the left hand side over there. Yes, you well, yep, take up those four spaces. Sure. And Baron, you are on the right hand side starting this match. Um, uh, up, up one. There we go. There. Oh, we don't have any life. Well, oh, we do need the life markers. Yes. Um, right, well, you two can begin your turn. Of course, it's going to be FRP. So you both start with five cards in hand and then the mulligan rule, of course. Um, so I'll buy cards and choose. Life markers. Uh, it's choose for this. Okay, now I need to read all of these because I've never used a boss character. Oh, so cute. <laughs> When you said that the first time, I was like, it's just just a boss character, and then you I actually went. I didn't like, know yeah. yet. <laughs> I went in. Did and you? Got like, the, the king. It was literally the first card I put. Oh, great! I see now. Hmm. Huh? Well, that's something. Hmm. So, uh, hey. us three team against this one. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we have to. Yeah. being a giant character does make it a little bit harder to make friends um, so Edge Marquee there is yours thank you and Baron and of course Big Dog and Situation and Edge Marquee I'm going to leave the regular life counter for you down here thank you uh, just in case Kaido ever gets eliminated you better <laughs> uh, so Mulligan <laughs> versus Kaido in the bathhouse. Oh, Kaido. <laughs> that's not the bathhouse, that's the Care Royal Rumble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So remember, if you're knocked into the ropes, you take one damage as well, because the ropes do hurt. But you have been knocked either beyond the ropes or thrown over the ropes to be eliminated. So if someone is thrown onto a rope, um, they are essentially on the, the apron. So if you've got like a throw zero and the person's on the rope, then that does count as an elimination. But of course, for bosses, all four of their spaces need to be over. So, for example... A good example would be nice, because what do you do like over here? Okay, so uh, the ropes are here, 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 and here. So this isn't one. So basically the four corners aren't considered part of the ring. Uh, if the Baron is here and someone uses a throw that's zero, then it would just pick him up and just put him there. But you consider the rope to be there and he would be thrown over and then he would have to suffer the punishment of the elimination to roll the 20 sided dice. Right. Of course, if he is here and he has thrown one, he's thrown to there, that does count as being thrown over the top rope. So that would be an elimination. Uh, of course, if you are here and you're thrown two, then you go one, two, then that would also be an elimination, whatever way you want to do it that way. Yeah. Uh, these ropes here... Uh, yeah, this, these two parts of the rope don't count. So, like, the edges are these two, the two on that side, and then the entire line across there. Yeah, so that's so, those diagonally and not... Me. Yes. So if someone's thrown onto here, that doesn't count. That isn't part of the the, the ring apron. This is the ropes here. So okay. for the giants, example, if they are here and they are thrown one, then they get thrown here. Doesn't count. However, if they get thrown, if they are here, they get thrown one to here, where all four spaces are on the outside of the ring. 
then that would be considered an elimination. So getting these big boys out of the ring is going to be a little bit difficult. Now of course Boss's movement speed is halved, so Nkuma his movement speed is four. Basically moving two space like two spaces would be one. So that is like one and then that would be two. So that would be four spaces. Because each one you have to take up two spaces. So the giants are a little bit slower than the other players in the event. How does range work? So Exactly the same. Um example like so if you're here, that's range one. If you are here, then that is range two or it's range two to the side. Basically you have just one giant square as opposed to four separate squares. Okay. So like, But equally for you, like if someone's here, that's range one. If someone's here, that's range one. If someone's here, that's range two. If someone's here, that's range two. You know. So we're at range three just now. Uh yes. Sure. Well yes, you are at range three. However, um so that is range one, two, three, but it could also be one, two, three. So at the moment it's both range three. But for example, if you are here, then that is range one, but you could also be range two as well. So both count. Yeah. That is weird. But yeah. That could be weird depending how you use that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. That's honestly kind of cool. Yeah, it's so just like, large enough, like, it's like I'm at range two, bam. <laughs> yeah, it's like my right hand is at range two, but my left hand is at range one. I'm going to take the scenic route to you. That's honestly kind of cool. So I'm up first, yeah? You are indeed. Okay. Um, Movement first. And I can still like attack and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh wait, can you attack your first one? Do you not get like one attack or something like that? Yeah, I think you get yeah, one, attack. one attack. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But my other action can still do anything, right? Yeah. Okay. I need to like, consider where I can go to get the most out of my range here. You have moved two spaces. Yeah, so we're you have stomped two. into the center of the ring. And uh, as a free action, I'm going to play the Path to Mastery is linked with the corpses of the week. I draw two and gain three meter. Oh my goodness. Pass me at three meter. Now, I don't have a super, but I do have an ultra for 12, right? Yes. Yeah. Like what have we? I've just seen a bunch of big numbers though. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> okay. Yes, boss ultras are nothing to be sniffed at. Remember the idea of a boss is it's supposed to be taken on by three people, <laughs> yeah, <you're laughs> which is one. probably what's going to happen in this, uh, so much this care Royal Rumble. It's got to be one on one. Um, okay, for my first action, I'll play this. Boss challenge is in effect. Yes. I checked the card first. Oh, is that okay? I'm not sure. It's better for me. If I came out <laughs> last, you guys would all dogpile me immediately. But now I can pick you off. I mean, the initial idea was for like the first two competitors just be regular people, but no one it just picked them. So I... it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> was that random? What do you mean pick them? Yeah. Only range two. Only range two from both sides. 
was a strike. It was a special. The hurricane scythe kick, so it's charge three. Okay, so that was half, so that's only one, which thankfully one. still does. Uh, and it would get plus one for each space the defender was moved by charge, but you well, were not. I, th- I assume it would be half, but it would be rounded up, so I guess it's two spaces it moves forward. So in that case, like this. Yeah, so it would move one, yeah. Does That that doesn't count as in the rope, right? Uh, no, the, the one beyond it would be the rope. Uh, so this is three attack. Thank you. We got two fists in a meter. And I shall choose not to combo. And for my second action, I shall draw two. What do you? Okay, so now the Baron. Now you can move around the giant, so um, although these spaces are the ropes, you need to think of it as two different spaces. You can be on this side and not be over the top rope, or you can be on this side and that's where you're eliminated. So you can move around the giant if you want to. And you your movement speed is three. three. You don't draw on your first turn? Uh, not on your first turn, no. Yeah. And not when you enter, you start with five, you don't drop. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So one, two, three. Ooh. Bambe. <laughs> oh. Right Big Kaido. Fortunately, you know, using the light fruit to disappear in behind Kaido here. Of course, we do know that Kaido, with his Thunder Bagua, can move at the speed of light. I just can't wait to see the other characters and see what the fool becomes after that. Range 1? That is range 1, yes. It's impossible to get out of range 1, you're so massive. <laughs> you will always be range 1. Uh, I'm going to play Asher Senku. Uh, plays a reaction to a face-down attack uh, while you're adjacent to me. When it should be able to get a strike, cancel it and I move four spaces. Well, good son of bait. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have a bane? <laughs> so the opponent plays... An event. Discard this card in their card and I draw one. Okay. okay. It's up under the rules that baits are free actions. Uh, yes. Yeah. Unless come by baits. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> well, that would negate it being a free action, so yeah. that does. So. So for my actual first action, I want to draw two. Sure. <laughs> that makes sense. Where we can use an action to move as well if you yes. prefer. And I believe Baron is at seven. So seven is the maximum uh, cards you have in hand. When are the Six. boss challenges refresh? Six. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that will be when everyone has had a turn. So when Baron ends his turn, everyone in the field will have had a turn, and then you will get a new boss challenge. Right. So basically, at the start of my turn. Yes. I'm strong it's a free action. I gain two meter and draw one card. Okay. Sure. I got two. Very bold of Borsellino to state that he is stronger than Kaido. <laughs> Especially in the current circumstances. No, um, you still play it, it just yeah. has to be Yeah. Because uh, yeah. you have to be exactly two spaces yeah. away. 
use a Pokestack. Mm -hmm. But you can still play cards that you can't Yeah, use. They, they just don't resolve. They yeah. just don't do anything. Yeah. So back to me? Yes. Uh, well, now it is the... Everyone has all had a turn. Yep. So we are now one turn away from the third entrant coming in. And the edge marquee gets his new boss challenge. While this card is in play, the boss ignores the first point of damage they take from each character. Hmm. Me. Each. And I drop two. Glad that's gone now. <laughs> I hope that hasn't just multiples. Seven, eight, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I could, but you know, that would be a terrible idea. Seems a great idea to me. Also, another interesting point is there might be points where the boss can't actually move past multiple people because the area is quite small. So it is possible to actually back a boss into a corner and he's not able to escape from it. At the moment, you can still move around, fortunately, no. Mm -hmm. So choose not to move in case you don't. <laughs> Owen's face looked like <laughs> <laughs> Big Dog was all looking to the back of Kaido this entire time. First action. <laughs> it's a special bit stuff. It was a special. Oh, that yeah, means it gets negated. Yeah, so push your character space adjacent. I already adjacent. Well you can uh, place any space that you want adjacent, Kaido. Uh, you can move to a different slightly less. <laughs> uh, deal two unblockable damage to Kaido when I draw so one. That's so. only going to deal one because that the first damage is ignored. Ignored. Yes. So I'm on thirty nine. Nice. But now any other damage that Borsalino does from this point onwards will deal the full damage. It's only one point of damage from the game from each character. Which just is not for the entire round and not just each turn. Well, for for this Second, yeah. turn, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, if as a projector, it was a strike. Oh, okay. The Goshoha. Uh, four attack throw. So I roll dice first and then throw right. Mm -hmm. yep. Yes, because it has to actually hit to deal with throw. One, two, three, and a mirror. Okay. Okay, and, and you can choose one. to throw. Yes. Here. That is indeed, <laughs> that is correct, and that would be an elimination. So the Baron has to roll the 20 sided 20. dice. Now, Baron, how much health are you on? 19. 19. So if it is a 19 or a 20, Baron could be eliminated right here. Two. It is a 2. He only takes 2 damage. Good roll. And then he rolls back in under the bottom rope. So he stays where he is, yeah. but he's now under the bottom rope once again. However, that was a scary almost elimination from Big Kaido. And that was my second action. So, go ahead. Okay, four, two. So, after bounce on the third person comes in. Yes. They go first, and then. And then, um, when it is. Uh, no. Yeah, that's, that's confusing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, because after. Baron ends his turn will be the end of the turn, so Edge Marquis will get a new boss um, okay. thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. A new round starts, the person comes in, they're going first. So since the mm. round ended, all oh, players had their turn on that round. No thing. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. I'm currently range what two? Or was it range one, one and two? Yeah, one and, one and two. One so and two, yeah. you can you can Bounce use anything that's range one or range two. Okay. How many block dice does the boss get? 
How many blood dice does a regular person get? Two. Is it not just that? Maybe. Is it more? I, I mean, surely, it's, so, surely it's only two. The, I think it mentioned boss events in that one. I'm not sure though. Um, so you have a dog, you can uh, check. If you were like move one, three, 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 yeah. You would be range one and two again. This square, but one from this square. Yeah, it's that way then for my. Do you want to go one, two, three? Yes. So I'm currently range one slash two from you. Correct. So I'm going to activate the jungle taught me a secret she'll never know. So it's a free action. For the turn, I double all meter I gain and I draw one. Okay. Sure. Against Kaido. Uh, the boss gets three dice by default when blocking against the player attacks. Mm. Projector? Yeah, is that projecting? Okay, uh, if within range to be the attacker, we are. They take three unblockable damage and I place my character in a space adjacent. Okay. Otherwise, we both draw one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just ring myself out. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna throw myself one over and uh, deal with three. Yeah. So I'm still one and two because so I can go. Uh, you're now just at one. Just one. Yeah, we'll throw this attack. I'll block. Yeah, what's the throw? No. Ah. No means. And it's a throw three as well. Oh. Damn, I'm going to block. <laughs> So I ignore that because of the boss yeah. challenge. What? So I don't know. It, um, you already reduced oh, the damage. Oh, it's not per turn. It's just in general. Yeah, yeah. no, you're right. Okay, oh, I'll take one. Yeah, take one and then three. I think I pop in my head. Yep. And I throw you three that way. <laughs> <laughs> so Kaido has been essentially backdropped over the top by worse leaders. Oh, my goodness. So, <laughs> but, Marquis, you must roll the twenty sided dice. Fourteen. Damn. So what? How much health you on? Thirty-eight. So I got a twenty-four. Wow. Down to is he just pushed. Uh, no, Borsalino stays where he is, and Kaido has to make his own way back in. So you can either choose that side or this side. I'll go on this side. Okay, and it's only your front two Something feet. Like that. Yeah, that are in at the moment. So you are here, like this. I. <laughs> this is just funny imagining these cats. <laughs> just and that's my uh, turn, so. Uh, uh, so that means that it is uh, now time for the third entrant into uh, the Care Rumble. Do the new boss challenge or? Yes, the boss challenge happens now. So our new boss challenge is while this card is in play, attacks played by the boss get mixed up too. The boss may force other characters to reroll up to one attack die per attack. One attack die? Yeah, so, so I get to mix up with you when you attack me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get mixed up two when they're defending yep. and mix up And the one third one. person into the Caird Rumble is the situation who is making his entrance here. This is the entrance that uh, Borsalino is in the way of, but you can enter to either side that you can make your way in from. So there we are. And it is. So if everyone can swap their little numbers around. So. The situation is now first. Uh, the edge marquee is now second. There you go. And the baron is now third. And that is going to be the order of the turns. So once again, once uh, baron ends his turn for the second time, if he's still in, then the fourth member of the card rumble will come out. So I wonder who that could be. Uh, <laughs> situation: you start with your five cards in hand. Um, no, you have to keep the five that you have. Okay. It's only the first two players that get that. How much have you on now? Uh, you do get your movement phase, yeah, and then you get your two five. actions. 
and both of your actions can both be attacks because it's not the first turn of the game any longer. And of course, uh, the situation it's playing is Balrog, which is very, very fitting for Luffy because Luffy does just enjoy punching things very, very hard and potentially oh, <laughs> knocking them out. Is Luffy on the ropes? I'm telling you, we're both on the ropes. <laughs> Everyone's on the Technically, ropes. Technically, we're all three on the ropes. Well, I mean, you're you're all with your backs to the ropes. <laughs> So for movement action, one. Okay. Range one. Of range one Borsalino. of Kaido, range one of Borsalino. Yeah. And range two. And range, and range two of Kaido. Yeah. <laughs> range one and range two of Kaido. All of the above. That is how massive Kaido is. <laughs> Kaido, you're being attacked by Mumphy. I see. I shall choose to block. Okay. It was a bait. So a bait, uh... Gain 2 meter. Yeah. Defend blocks, discard block dice, gain 2 meter, mm -hmm. and you may move from one space. Sure. It's a bait. I guess. Movement Remember, movement is, is halved, but it is rounded up, so you can move them one space. Would you like to move me forward? Is the only option that you can do. No, okay. no you actually, you can move into the right one. Yeah, I guess. Thank yeah. Mm-hmm. So you want seven cards in hand? So that was both actions. No, no, uh, the first one was oh, a yeah, action. Bait, a bait was oh, a yeah. action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think for the sake of the speed of the game, yeah. um, we're going to let... So, Big Dog, you aren't in yet, but you can look at your top five cards just now Maybe so that you get an idea of what you want to do when you do enter. Yeah. And when someone's eliminated, they can look at the top five cards of their next deck. Yeah, oh, well, yep, keep that's hidden. What's a projectile? Charge three. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one and um, you take the damage. Uh, and then three attack each. Three attack. Next up one. Yeah. And then you can do three defense. You also have mix up ones as well. Yeah, I have defensive mix up. Yes. Weirdly really enough. Uh, um, mix up that double fist, please. No, thank you. Yeah. You also get one. Uh, a meter and a defense. So it was just by one, so Ajarak, he takes one damage? She does have mix up one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you have mix up one as well. Shield, meter, or double fist. Shield. Shield. Yeah. I get two meter. Plus two meter? Two damage. And I take two. Which me to 21. Damage uh, after this attack resolves, move by log to space adjacent to the defender if able. Which is so, like anywhere. <laughs> is that diagonal or adjacent? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Any of the spaces that I'm are next to Kaido. I'm fine, I'm fine. 
Okay. Sure. I don't know. Okay. Back to me then. Yep. Yep. Uh, so we already got the new boss challenge. So got two. Now you have movement. You can maybe step yourself back over that rope if you wish. I think I will. That makes sense to me. And I don't get to know you. I'm just stuck no, with that. You're stuck with that. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Great. As is everyone else from this point in the Cairn Rumble. One. Well, that's two. Oh, yeah, two out of four. Four out of four. Yep. That's how that works. You're a range 2 from Luffy, you're a range 2 and 3 from Borsalino. That's true. I think I'll play this against Luffy. Mmm, so it's range 2. See what the situation wants to do. Luffy and Borsalino teaming up to take on big old Kaido. I'm very curious as to who the big dog will be sending in to help in the battle. That's a good question. Sure. It was a projectile with Zanku had opened. Ooh. Um, so it fires two projectiles. Yes. One targets the one who dealt me damage last, Luffy, and one targets the player with the lowest health, which is Borsalino. Uh, I roll separately for each, and it's four attack dice for each, plus one because we're at range two, so five attack dice each. Mm. Three. Mix up three because of the boss, boss challenge. Wow. That is crazy. Mm. Mix up the shoe. Mix up the shoe. Mix up the shoe. <laughs> there we go. Oh my goodness. Jeez. And five attack dice. Twice. So this one for Luffy. Yes. One, two, three, and a meter. I think he does. It's also got the mix up. Yeah. Uh, mix up the shoe. Mix up the shoe. <laughs> mix up the meal. There we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Deals five. Huh. So that double Hadoken, very, very dangerous. And second action. For those of you at home, they're uh, trying to equate Nine. this to One Piece. Yes. Uh, I imagine that is a come of a blast breath. Interesting. In that case, it is now Borsalina's turn, I believe. Yes. And Luffy making a united stand against Big Kaido here. Unless Kaido decides to suddenly turn on Luffy. 
thing on. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Is the kind of thing I'd consider doing. But what I know, I've never even entered a Cared Rumble. Because every time a Cared Rumble's happened, I've been WKC champion. Well, try not to. No, <laughs> I enjoy you it. That? I enjoy being the champion. <laughs> You want my title? It's yours. I left it all in one place in the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a wish. Nah, you can keep it. <laughs> the hell? They're taking your target me. Yes. Ah. I, just, I had to ask. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, I mean... Projector? It's a shrink. So a dash too. Ah, uh, that's true. Mm -hmm. So it's three attack dice, get mixed up one and poke. Sure. Uh, mix up one of those fists. So I'll take one. Yep. And uh, poke, and no free. Freaking sidekick. You are nothing. And go show her. Okay, yes, so then we're going to uh, combo. Mm-hmm. Wobble combo. Three, two, electric thunder. Yep. Okay. So, a uh, free attack dice, but I can the exit to four if I wanted to. Shall you? No. What else does it do? Yeah, it's going to knock back one and stun one. Mm, sure. Uh, none but under. Reroll that fist. Yeah. Oh, it works. Two e That's the bad action. <laughs> the ability to make your opponent reroll dice is very, very strong. Evidently. Yeah, Can it be like over now? <laughs> not yet. I'm not even here yet, I don't like it. <laughs> Can we run the last I'm on 21. 21 health. Yes. Jeez. So chunky. Yes. Well, he did start on 40, so he's almost halfway defeated. Oh, right. I think yeah, I did really take did. 14 from that. That's, that's good. We want more of that. Pay 4. It's got to be the single best. Oh, one thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Borsalino Super Lightning Meter Charge. Yeah. What's happening? So it's a super? Yeah. Um, and it was because it's right too. Oh. Where are you going? Uh, yeah, can I go that way? Can it? I don't know. Charge. Yes. Range 2. Or uh, is any part of me at range 2? Um. Is the front two squares of both range one? Yeah, that's a that's a weird decision. Like, can you target that square? Well, that would be. You know, in retrospect, if we imagine that Cairo is not taking up four spaces and that it's just four Cairos, like one, two, three, and four, then I presume that you could go for a range two to this point here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I. Th I think that is okay actually. Okay, so for I think it's more considered that you would like jump over space one and attack space two. So that's the way that I would imagine it. I sure. thought it would be more like line of sight. You know, like one of your. That's why. But it's not because them. for well, oh, if it's range two, like if there's something in the way, can you still jump over it to attack something? It's uh, range two. It depends. If it's a tall obstacle, then no. Hmm. If it's a short one, then yeah. Because like if it's a little lantern or something, then yeah, you could, I think you can attack. Well, it kind of would be considered a tall object to say the least. Because like there are some stages where like trees, and you mm. can't attack past them. Um. Like you can attack around them, but you can't attack like through them. Hmm. Yeah, I think you make a good point. Um. In that case, I think. Case. It would most certainly be that the line of sight would be. I think if he was here, then he could go like one, two, yeah, that way. But I think this way, yeah, like it's just two ones. So I think that does just fizzle out then. 
given that was such a contentious ruling, will we allow him to take it back? Um, yeah, because yeah. we weren't even sure about it, so he can return that to hand and regain his meter. Yeah. I helped you for for attacking. <laughs> I'll draw two. Okay. I'll punch him out, just punch his look. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I won't. That would be just in lights. line with Forcelino. Just so, lights. with Baron yes. ending his turn, that means it is the end of this turn, which means that it is the time for a new boss challenge. While this card is in play, the boss may force other characters to re-roll any of their battle dice. Just any of their battle dice. Just wow. anything. Oh, yeah. Like, Isn't that just a better version of the other one? Yeah, I think it is. Sure, I'll right. take it. But only I mean, once. I assume it's, once. It's, it's a once yeah. force like, complete re-roll instead of... Uh, well, it doesn't say re-roll anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You know. so, it's just like mix up everything once. Yes. Yeah, like everything gets a single mix up. That's strong. <laughs> Alright. Sure. You can do it one foot. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't even say when they're attacking me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can attack each other and I could still do it. In fact, actually, you could let them attack each other and you could help them. And increase their chances. Yeah. yeah. Just like, you see that shield that you got? Reroll that into a double <laughs> fist. <laughs> Man, that'd be weird if you could choose what it's re-rolled into. Well, that would, that would be too strong. <laughs> So you just say yes, you're your block dice, they all say double fist. All of them. Forever. <laughs> That's weird. So Luffy just turns around and punches Borsalino for 18. <laughs> 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 what the hell? <laughs> Didn't that happen? I've had no one it, well, <laughs> I mean, Kaido wasn't helping. No, he didn't. He didn't <laughs> Kaido he didn't, like, fist yeah, Kaido didn't charge Luffy's fist with a Thunder Bagua. <laughs> Grab the one shows buggy, or did you? Because he could just cut his feet off and leave in the middle of the arena. So well, someone would just pick up his shoes and throw them out, and who's he'd be like, what the hell? Who's going to catch his feet? They're just going to run around all the way. <laughs> Also, both feet need to touch the ground so they could run in different directions. Yes. <laughs> one foot in different ways. Hmm. Yeah, situation, I'm going to have to push you for... You're at range 1 from Borsalino and range 1 and 2 from me. Uh, no, only range 2. You can Luffy's, right. Luffy's not range 2. Oh yeah, one more time. You can move if you want to. No, I'm fine. Okay. I can get through this attack against Kaido. Okay, you're at range 2 of Kaido. Is that what you want? Yeah. Well, we'll go to see you. Uh, punch. Yeah, evidently, yeah. Punch um, feel good. Yeah. Can he not punch me? Um, yeah, punch head. and on occasion headbutt. Exactly like Luffy. Projector? Which was a special mission. Okay. Uh, charged three. Okay, so that means that you go one and then you can actually push Kaido back one. What? Uh, two attack dice and mix up one. Not a max, because then block. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We roll that first. And there'll be nothing. So we roll the first. Yep, just that. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, still deal one. Okay. It's Kaido down to 19. So just quite good. This doesn't also? say once, but I assume we're rolling that as once. What's the edge? Yeah. Says you can re roll no, it. No, just like, no, just like, infinitely... like see that fist? Yeah, just keep re rolling it until it's. Only shield and so we'll see we'll that meter. We'll and just keep rerolling that until it's only shield. <laughs> yeah. When you get one more, since plus one attack edge, plus one attack dice when the defender is adjacent to an object or wall. Uh, well, he's adjacent to an object or wall now. Yeah. But did that not have to be before? I assume so. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. I don't know if there, so technically that's the wall on these sides, right? Well. I mean, oh, at this point, um, no, okay, Kaido is at the wall, but like there, um, like the thing is, Kaido <laughs> needs to be here to get okay. the elimination. So I'm going to say that this is him. So like, you have to be on the square. Yeah. So that. basically, when his front is, when the front part of him is touching 
then the wall that's one space away. Okay. I have the static shadow. So basically the whole of the Cairo, not just the back of the Cairo. Good use of a bait. And the second I tried it. No strike. Yeah. Yeah. Place your character in a space adjacent and throw them two spaces, then draw yeah. one. Oh one. my goodness. I'm going to place myself here. Okay. Dive around, Luffy. And I'm going to throw you. Oh, wait, I want to throw you. One, two. Does that count as going out? Um. Because mm, if not, it's all that <laughs> Yeah, obviously. Um. Uh, yes, yes, it would. Okay. Because um, it would be thrown to the other side of the rope. So yes. And then draw one. So one damage from the throw, or hitting the thing. Uh, no, uh, the throw puts you over the rope, not into the rope. Sure. Okay, so it so doesn't yield damage. Elimination. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, it's a four. So That's you only take four bad. damage, that isn't so bad. That's and then Luffy rolls back under the bottom rope. And after being launched across the ring. Mm. In a manner befitting Rey Mysterio being thrown by Big Show. Okay. And that's it for me. No, okay. Turn. It is now. So no boss challenge, right? Cause nope, because it's already the new turn. One, two, one. Oh, four. Yeah, you know. Two, four. four. <laughs> I'm going to use a free action to play I am Akuma and I will teach you the meaning of pain. Kaido. I'm Kaido, excuse me. The next attack card you put this turn gets plus two attack base and stun one. Oh my goodness. Mm. <coughs> uh, stun removes cards from fuel's hands. Indeed. And I shall play this against Luffy. Mm. Against Luffy. So Fado's ranged one and two? Yes, he Correct. is indeed. So it could be a range one or it could be a range two attack. And of course, if it has knockback, then it would also eliminate Luffy. I'll use block dice and discard that for two dice. Okay, sure. so you would get four block dice. It was a projectile, another Zanku had okay. Um, so it's five attack dice because we're at range two, mm -hmm. and uh, I get plus two from this, and it shoots two projectiles again. Uh, targets the character who most recently damaged me, which I think was Luffy. Um, so both fireballs will be against Luffy then? The other one is against the one with the lowest health. Um, okay. So it target one each. Okay, so it is, is one each. Um, so I'm seven attack dice twice. With seven mix up one. attack twice dice. I mix up one and I can reroll your yep. thing. So basically he's got oh. this one that can reroll anything he wants and then he can mix up one of those things one more time. It's just battle deck. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it seven? <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so that is a fist. That's one defense. Uh, so that's one fist, a double fist, and two defenses. Um, so I'm going to use this to reroll those two defenses. Yes. So you to reroll those two. two and there's still uh, two no, defenses. Up a defense. Yep, and just one of them. Defense. That's also defense. Okay, so it's defense two. Great. Uh, uh, but you do have seven attack dice. Baron also gets to block. Uh, yes, but he'll do that when it's his attack. Sure. Um, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Because these are two separate adoptions, not the same one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So he takes 3 damage. The whole 3. Hmm. Actually yeah, a lot better well. than it could have been. And the Baron, he gets his too. They're both meters. Did I hit Great. <laughs> 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 Again. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one. 
You're at one. I'm on one. Oh. Now, bear in mind that if Baron was to be knocked unconscious, he would not be eliminated. He would instead skip his next turn, and if he was still alive on the following turn, then he would come back with five life, having regained some of his stamina. So if you are not unconscious, then you still stay in the ring, but you don't have any way of protecting yourself. So if someone comes along and does a throw to your unconscious body, or does a knockback to your unconscious body, and you get eliminated, then that is you, you're out of the Royal Rumble. Also, I forgot to mention, I am Kaigo, and I'll teach you the meaning of pain, also gives him stun one. So both players will uh, discard one. Yes. Okay, they both take damage. Okay, well that <coughs> sorts that problem. Let's take that. Special. Okay, and second action. Yes, that was only the first action. Hmm. Will Luffy throw out Boss of the Year if I beat him up? I beat up for you again. Uh, I'm on 19. No, that might answer your question. Nah, you wouldn't. I might draw two. Go for it. Okay. Draw one. Draw two. Turn five. So the pattern is on a single health. It's poor Selena. Special? It's a focus attack. Which uh-huh. is cancelled it. Oh. This is second action. Kaido. Okay. Kaido. Attack against Kaido. And Xara's doing it with his back to Kaido. Showing the... Sheer this, the, the logo of Lazy Justice on the back of his Admiral's uniform. I wouldn't focus that you twice in the window. Well, if you would, no matter what, I'd play a counter right? I have to make a decision here, Marky. Yeah. Special. It's a strike. Dash mm-hmm. one. So three attack dice, rock crusher. Nothing special, bro. Right? We were all. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Wow! <laughs> Still four damage. Putting Kaido down to a mere 15. An almost human number of life. Almost. Almost. Will it go further though? That's mm. the question. To go even further beyond. Yes, yeah, it could even combo. Combo. Into oh, a little thunder. Mm-hmm. Now you can EX this one if you want. Shall you? To get an additional dice. Oh, I will EX this one, yeah. 
Ooh. So you get four dice? Four dice. Four dice. That was <laughs> no all fists. <laughs> okay. Good. Three and a meal. The three fists. Three fists. Four. There's now four fists. It somehow increased. What the hell, man? Putting Cairo down to a mere 11. And not back one stone one. Yep. Snatch this one. The Shaknetsu Hadoken. Anymore. I really like how the characters thus far have all been. Like, it, it works with the characters. Like, all the lightning moves with uh, Kizaru and all the punch moves with Luffy and all of the blast breaths and such with big old Kaido here. Yeah. It fits. The only one that didn't make sense was the Tatsumaki. <laughs> that would be that a bit weird. Yeah. And that's the end of the turn. So again, okay, so it is in the, in the new turn. So let's see what the new boss challenge is. While this card is in play, only the boss may play projectiles. They must play them face up and their projectiles may not be counter-attacked. Oh, and it is now time, of course, for the final member of the Cared Rumble to enter. It is, of course, the big dog, and uh, let's see who he is throwing into the mix alongside Luffy and Borsalino to take on one of the four emperors, Kaido himself. Good old... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Dan's fourth lost, long lost cousin. Oh my goodness. It is Momonosuke, and I think it is actually very, very fitting as well. But that is going to be the end of part one of the Cared Rumble, folks. We have now seen all four members in the Rumble. No one has been eliminated yet. So make sure to tune in tomorrow to see part two of the Rumble. And it might even have more than two parts depending on how this goes. But that's going to be it for this video, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these glorious little buds go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.